All right, so Phil asks, is there a parallel between the first Sunday of Advents this year, November 29th, reading of Mark 13, 33 to 37, where Jesus warns the disciples, beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come, and Santa Claus coming at night discreetly. Staying awake might mean Santa will pass your house without stopping, of course. But the idea that someone might come by by when you're being inattentive or asleep is interesting. Um, yes, I think there's definitely a relationship. It's not a direct relationship, but there's definitely a parallel relationship. Uh, the one of the things that 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 Santa coming down the chimney uh, during the night when you're sleeping has to do with it has to do with the incarnation quite a bit, you know, in the sense that that's what happened, you know, that so Christ comes down. You imagine, I mean, obviously that's not what happened, but if you look at the icon, for example, you can see it's like there's a star and then down from that star in the cave is the Christ child, which appears hidden, you know, to most. And, you know, and so is this hidden gift, which is there in the, in the cave that is at the, the bottom of the chimney, right in the, in the darkest place, where the animals are and 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 in the soot you could say and so the 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 manger is like this is the bottom of the chimney right it's it's the darkest place and so that's where santa comes down and then manifests himself in in the darkest place so in the middle of the night but also in the middle of winter not in the middle of the winter but at the solstice right at the lowest day at the lowest moment when the sun is the lowest and so this is what's going on in the story of, of Santa and coming down the chimney. <laughs>